Hello everyone, today I want to show you how I've made my double side blanket. Those big pieces of fabric is 100% of wool and they are completely old, they have a lot of spots and little holes and it seems to be suits only for blankets or something like this. And I have a lot of fabric uh, scraps, most of them are from wool and um, some of them mixed uh, with um, viscose or uh, synthetic. And the first step is um, what I need to do is to iron all of these little pieces, all of these scraps. So as you understand the size of my blanket is um, 200 to 200 centimeters. And uh, the second step is uh, to make a bottom or a base uh, on which I will pin the rest of fabrics. And as you understand, those scraps will work as a wadding. I put two layers of scraps and uh, as for me it's very important to not make humps. And to be honest, um, I really love how it looks like. It's beautiful, it's a unique picture. And uh, I thought why not to try to cover it um, with something transparent. Here you can see a silk organza. Uh, from my fabric storage more than two years or three years. Uh, I still don't know what to do with this fabric. It's a blue color and I thought why not to use it. I'm not sure that I will sew something um, something for myself. Uh, I think it's, it's not my type of fabric but for a blanket it's perfect. But these um, two pieces is okay, but not uh, enough for um, this uh, square. Last summer I was um, sewing uh, this um, organza shirt. The process of sewing was so hot, but uh, it doesn't mean that I need it in my wardrobe. So I will deconstructed it and will use it also for my duvet. And we use it um, those uh, wool uh, fabric, the big piece, to make um, a bias straps and non-bias straps. I want to use all this wool just to free up space in my fabric storage.
So, what I've done. I fixed uh, with uh, pins and uh, with threads uh, all those, um, those uh, layers. Um, bottom or base, uh, wadding and the top, uh, arganza top. Also, I've used um, those beer straps. Why? Mm, to be honest, I don't need it. But um, I thought that it will look more beautiful. It's very important to make as many stitches as possible. Even this is really hard because of po body pose, because they are sitting on the floor. And the next step... Um, is quilting. I have heard that some uh, sewers, seamstresses, uh, can make this type of um, do it without sewing machine. They stitch it quilted by hands and it's, it's possible but it needs time. I don't have a lot of time. Spend um, about four days for this blanket for days of sewing. Two days of quilting and almost done. The last step is to knit on the, the, edge, the edges of blanket by non bias strips.
So, my blanket is ready. And to be honest, I thought that it will be something like a weight in that blanket. But no, the weight of this blanket is um, a little more than um, 4 kilo. But for my weight, the weight in the blanket should be about 6. But 6 kilo is too much, it's very hard and I'm not sure that I that I, I can make it at home with my simple sewing machine. Anyway, you should know that I have already bought a duvet set and today I'm gonna try my blanket at night. So, dear friends, in the end of this video I just want to ask you what do you think about my idea how to use fabric scraps. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and now you know how to use your fabric scraps. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Time. It's gone time from time to time